So if I know the, the half-life of a material, and I know the time that it's been sitting there, I can determine the fraction of the original material that will be left. So I could solve for either the amount of material that's left, and if I had one of these, I could solve for the other. Now, I don't know how to solve for the time here. And mostly when you talk about radioactive dating, for example, people are always trying to figure out you know, what, how old something is, what's the time. To do that, we need to take the log of both sides. And uh, the logarithm is just the power of 10. So for example, oh, let's do it over here on the side. Let's see. 10 to the 1 is 10. So the log rhythm, the base 10 logarithm of 10, is just the power it came from. It's just 1. Um, the log of 100, well, 100 is 10 to the 2. The log of 1,000 is uh, 10 to the 3. So the log is, oh, excuse me, 1,000 is 10 to the 3, so the log of 1,000 is just 3. The log of 0 0.001, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, is minus 3. Now logarithms were invented, put together, because you know if you've got uh, a bunch of numbers you can, that you need to multiply together, you can multiply the numbers, but you just add exponents when you're multiplying them. So John Napier in the early 1500s figured out, or 1600s, figured out if I can just make logarithms of everything, now all the people that are doing my counting calculations, instead of doing multiplication and division, they can convert them to logs, and they can just add and subtract, because they're working with the powers. And it doesn't just work for 10 or 100, it works for everything in between. The log of 30, well, let's see what I can find out. The log of 30 would have to be somewhere between 1 and 2, because 30 is between 10 and 100. So I could say, let's see. The log of 30 is 1.477. So that means 30 is the same as 10 to the 1.477 power. Now the reason I'm telling you this about logarithms is that we need to break down this exponent here so that we can get at it. And to do that, to get that exponent down into something we can work with, we need to take the log of both sides. So here's how it works. The logarithm of n over n sub o, the number of particles divided by the number I originally started with, is equal to the logarithm of 1 half to the t over t 1 half. And since logarithms bring that exponent down, I can say the logarithm of n over n sub o is equal to the time over the half-life of the logarithm of one half. And for that, I can break it down further just to solve for the time or time the half-life. T over T over the half-life would be equal to the logarithm of n over n sub o divided by the log of one half. I'm circling both these equations even though they're the same because this one's got the log in it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an example of this. Let's see. Let's say, for example, um, we started off with this decaying material. It's exponentially decaying radioactive material. And uh, we started off with um, 68 grams, and now we only have 12 grams. And it's been um, 48 hours, two days exactly. And I want to know what's the half life of this thing? Well, I know the half life is less than 48 hours because it's dropped. What's he? Did it be 34 after one half life? 
it'll be 17 after two half-lives, it'll be eight and a half after three, so it's, it's been a little over two half-lives. So let's find out. I'll use the equation time over the half-life is equal to the log of the number of particles over the original number divided by the log of one half. And to solve for the half-life, I'm going to need to bring it on top, get it on top and by itself. My question is, what's the half-life? So I'll wind up with the half-life. This is algebra. The half-life is the time. Let's see, if I brought multiply both sides by the half-life, they come up here. I have to get rid of all these, and so I'd have to multiply by the log of one half with the log of n over n sub o, number of particles divided by the number I started with. And I'd wind up with 48 hours times the log of one half divided by the log, let's see, of 12 grams over 68 grams. Now the grams will cancel. It's good, so I don't have any problems. My units will be in hours. I'll have, let's see. I get 19.2 hours.